we want to write a function rule that performs the following operations in the given order and we're asked to use the function f of x. So for part a, we want the function to multiply by three, then add five, and then divide by two. So if f of x is our function, then x is the input. So to multiply the input by three, we'd have three times x or three x. Then to add five, we'd have plus five. Now we want to divide this entire quantity by two. So we can write this in fraction form. Remember a fraction bar means division. So to divide this quantity by two, we would just have a denominator of two. So following the order of operations, this function is first going to multiply by three, add five, and then divide by two. Part B, we want the function to first add five, then multiply by three, and then divide by two. So because the order of the operations have changed, it will change the function. Now our function f of x is going to be equal to, well if we add five to the input of x, that would give us x plus five. And then we're going to multiply this entire quantity by three. So I'll have to put this in parentheses. Then to multiply by three, we can put the three in the front or in the back. Let's go ahead and put it in the front where it's most commonly seen. And now we want to divide this entire quantity by two. So again, in fraction form, since the fraction bar means division, we'd have a denominator of two. So again, following the order of operations with our input x, we would first add five, then multiply by three, and then divide by two. And then finally for part c, we want our function to first divide by two, then add five, then multiply by three. So we'd have f of x equals, if we divide the input by two, we'd have x divided by two. Then we want to add five, so plus five. We want to multiply all of this by three. So again, to make sure we multiply all this by three, we'd have to put this quantity in parentheses and then put a three in the front or in the back of these parentheses. Normally it would be in the front where we think of distributing. So from these examples we can see that when the order of the operations change, it will affect our function rule. I hope you found these three examples helpful.